Hi everyone, happy July. How's it going? Are you enjoying the heat of Madrid? If you are in Madrid um, and if you are in somewhere else in the world, how is it going over there? I hope it's not too hot where, where you live. So yeah, hello, I am from Madrid. I'm, I live in Madrid, I'm from the Philippines and I'm also a mom of two, that's a quick introduction for all of you who are watching for the very first time. I'm Denise, I am a parenting coach and I basically help other parents enjoy parenting more. And today we're gonna be talking about blaming versus taking responsibility. Um, and I want to ask you, when something wrong happens, who, like without thinking, who do you normally blame? Um, in my case, I think in our family, when we see something that, hmm, that is actually a good question, <laughs> but I think obviously we, we normally have a tendency, like between my partner and I, we normally have a tendency to blame our kids. And that is not surprising because our brain likes to blame. It likes to look for who is like the culprit, right? right? Like who should we blame for this? Um, and it likes, and what it really likes is not taking responsibility. It really likes saying, okay, this is your problem. You did this you take care of it right and so that's kind of like the difference at least that i find between uh blaming and taking responsibility is that once we blame someone then we've kind of like washed our hands of the situation right then it becomes their problem and it stops becoming our problem meanwhile while we are when we take responsibility we are able to see like okay maybe i actually did play uh, role in this right and what is that role that I played um, and how can I make it better for next time so that for me is the difference between uh, blaming and taking responsibility and when it comes to parenting right especially if you have more than two or more kids um, it's really easy to just blame right when we see our kids crying when we see something that fell when we see the mess on the floor it's easy to kind of just jump in and blame and say you know it's your fault you never do this um because it's like our, it's, it's what our brain likes to do right it's what um it's what our brain is used to doing and the problem with blaming right as i said earlier it kind of removes um the responsibility not just from you uh but from the child because a lot of times blaming leads to punishment right like you did this therefore uh i'm going to do that right you you grab the toy from your brother so i'm going to get the toy from you right it's it's kind of they're they're normally blaming and punishment come hand in hand and what happens when when we do that is that then we kind of like release our child from accountability right from being from from the consequences of what they did or from taking again for, for taking responsibility of what happened and so what can you do instead with our kids is when you enter the room instead of thinking like who did this whose fault is it right think instead, okay, how can we fix it, right? Especially when you have siblings, I don't know, my daughter has started saying this as well. It's like, it's it's his fault, it's my brother's fault, it's my brother's fault. And then she has to go, whose fault is it? You know, <laughs> like, whose fault is it? Um, because the, the brain likes to break, to, the brain likes to blame. And so it's not surprising that that's also what our kids kind of pick up on. And the thing is that when when they say that it's their brother's fault and then we take in and then we take their word for it, we kind of miss the whole story sometimes. Like, okay, uh, maybe it is the brother's fault that the glass fell from the table. That maybe it fell because um, she pushed him or you know maybe it felt also because they were just laughing like again it's like there are so many things that could have happened that when we just jump to blaming someone then we kind of lose we're not able to really see the big picture 
And so when you enter the room and you see something that maybe you don't exactly like, right? Instead of jumping to who did it and instead asking, how can we fix this? It also creates a sense of team, right? It doesn't become like brother versus sister. It doesn't become you versus them. It becomes, okay, we're a family. We work together. How can we fix this? And so that's actually uh, one of the things that we say in our family where when someone starts trying to blame someone else, we say, in our family, we look for solutions, right? And so it shows that regardless of whose fault it is, because let's face it, in the end, you know, you can keep following that rope and they will always find fault with the other person. Um, so it, instead of focusing on the past, right, of who did this, um, we focus on the present and the future. What can we do about it now? How can we fix this? And so it's a good lesson if this is a lesson that you want to teach your kids. It is a nice lesson to show that, you know, regardless of what happens in the past, we can always fix things, right? We can always look forward. We can always move forward. And so that's something that you can change a little mind shift mindset shift that you can apply with your family when things happen and instead of looking to whose fault it is to instead just change and ask how can we fix this right or how yeah and one thing so that's how blaming versus taking responsibility might look like with your kids and another thing would be how would that look like in your life right I get a lot of parents who who tell me oh um, if only my daughter could do that she you know my daughter would never do that and then it's like then you know it's not their responsibility because their daughter would never do that um, one concrete example actually was of a mom that I had just last week where she was talking about how she needed some time for herself and she needed her child to play independently, right? And she just said that, you know, like her child couldn't do it. You know, this was something that her child can never do. Her child has always been someone who needed attention, who always, like as a baby, this child always wanted to be picked up and that whole thing. And so she was like, no, it's just, you know, my child just isn't, um, she just can't do it. This is just the type of child that she is. And so it's not, it might not look like blaming, but it is not taking responsibility, right? And so when she actually did realize like, okay, you know, my child actually can do this and she took responsibility for teaching her child that she can do this and that her child, and actually believing that her child is able to play independently for a certain amount of time, it happened. Right, because she took responsibility and she realized, no, this is something that can happen and I can do it and she did it. And so this is something also that maybe you can start thinking about what are things in your life that you have been blaming others for that maybe you've blaming, you've been blaming the situation for, you've been blaming your husband for, you've been blaming your kids for, you've been blaming Spain for the heat. I don't know what 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 are things that you have been blaming others for, and what would it look like if instead of blaming other people, you took responsibility for it? What would what if, especially in parenting, sometimes we think, oh, what if I'm doing this wrong, right? What if, what if what I'm doing actually isn't working, right? What would what would that happen? What would happen if you actually realize, oh? Maybe what I'm doing isn't what I want to be doing. Maybe what I'm doing isn't working. And I can actually change that, right? I am in charge of my life. What would you do? What would you do if you realized that you are in charge of your life and that you can be the parent that you want to be regardless of the children that you have, the spouse that you have, the place that you live in, right regardless of everything you are in charge and so if you're interested in looking at how your life would look like once you've taken full responsibility of it then please send me a message we can schedule a free consult and you'll just be able to discover that for yourself okay until then see you next week bye everyone